Hi everybody, I'm Nick, and I'm going to show a quick demo of Burner.Codes. This was a little app that I built over the weekend, and it's basically just a quick burner wallet system for, uh, right now, Solana DevNet. So you can see the web page open right here. You can go to it at Burner.Codes, and what it does is actually generates a Solana key pair, stores it in your browser's local storage. Um, so it's, it's meant to be ephemeral, it's meant to be Burner, it's, it's not meant to store any like actual value, uh, but it makes it really convenient uh, it makes a really convenient way to actually transfer and send tokens, uh, soul tokens back and forth to people. So you can see it right here. We have our current balance. I have this address. And again, this is just stored in local storage, which is, you know, pretty convenient. There's a QR code that you can scan or show to anyone else. They can scan it and then they can actually easily send your burner wallet tokens. But then there's these two buttons, send with link and send to address. Send address probably does exactly what you would think. You can enter a balance and any Solana address, and then you can just send those tokens to anyone you want. But one of the really cool things that Burner Codes does is you can actually send tokens directly with a single link. So I'll go ahead and go through this process, and I've got I've also got the Burner Codes website loaded up on my phone here. This just happens to be a Saga phone, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It can be any Android, iOS, whatever kind of phone you want to use. But you can see here my balance is 0.0, .0 SOL, and you can see that my if this camera wants to focus, you can see there's a totally different address loaded in there. But I'll go ahead and create this claim link. So right now I have 2.5 DevNet Soul in this uh, burner wallet on my computer. So I'll go ahead and send 1.0 Soul with a link. So I'll create a claim link. It's going to go through the process. It's creating a transaction on the Solana blockchain. It's generating a brand new ephemeral key pair. And it's going to use this new key pair to actually send these tokens to whoever you're trying to send them to. So once the blockchain goes through, the transaction goes through, we now have this claim link. We can either copy this link directly to our clipboard, share it however we want to share it with whoever we're trying to send these tokens to, or on your phone or any other device that you have a camera, you can actually just directly scan this QR code. So I'll go through and scan it on my phone. I just quick, simple scan. You see Brave is trying to open this address. I will go ahead and open it. And I'll go ahead and open, copy this link to clipboard and close this. I'll copy it to my clipboard, open it on my computer as well so you can see what it looks like and it's just a very simple claim interface you can claim to your burner wallet directly uh, you can scan this QR code that should give you this exact same URL so you can just use this to easily share it or if you want you can claim directly to any Solana address which is uh, pretty convenient but I've got it loaded up here on my phone and I'm just gonna go ahead and click the claim to burner wallet it's going through the process sending the transaction to the Solana blockchain to actually claim these tokens and again these are DevNet tokens And it does some uh, some assorted checks. You can see our claim has now been successful, and we can go ahead. You know, there's a, a claim. There's a view on Explorer link, pretty straightforward. But now, if I try to refresh this page on my website or on my desktop, you can see this claim link is now empty. I can go to my burner wallet. Transaction happened. But on my phone, now that I've closed that pop up. I now have that 1.0 soul on my phone. So this uh, actually make it so how the system is set up is if you have a wallet that doesn't actually have any tokens in it, the, the claim link will actually pay for those transaction fees as well. So it basically just seeds your wallet too, which is I think something really, really cool. So if you like this, let me know. And if there's any uh, sort of features or ideas you have for this sort of thing, then, then please let me know and I'd be happy to add more things. There's a open source, it's an open source repo. The link's in the, uh, on the page here itself at the bottom. Thanks. I hope you like it.